So, um, we'll get back to Invidious because we kind of got off topic for yeah. a bit there. Uh, that, that tends to happen sometimes. Um, so, Invidious is not the only like front end available. Like, there is no. other things that are out there. Oh. So, yeah, uh, I let you up on the link uh, 15. Yep. So as I said, uh, Invidious was the first. <laughs> I mean, I say it's the first. Technically, Octube was first, <laughs> but Octube did things differently. <laughs> Invidious was the first to do things its way, basically. Uh, then, as you can see in uh, in the link I sent you, <laughs> it started. <laughs> <laughs> And there's no privacy front end for everything, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's Twitter, Reddit, TikTok. Oh, geez, there is. Okay, I scrolled right past that. Yeah. Wait, there's an IMDb yeah. one. What? Yeah. Okay. What's... There's not many. Oh, there's... Okay, there's one of them. Um... Yeah. There's one for every platform that is shit, kinda. <laughs> Basically, the platform that you have to use to get an information or to follow a creator. Mm -hmm. But a platform that's usually filled with tracker. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the video started and. Dozens follow. I with with the uh, the YouTube ones. I'm aware of piped, but I've not heard of these other ones. Uh, it seems like so I, I never heard about uh, Pocket Tube. It's getting updated uh, reasonably quickly. Last to be at um, seventeen hours ago. The uh, Cloud Tube was. Uh, How can I explain it simply? <laughs> so as I said before, uh, at one point we wanted to rewrite in videos. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't finish my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so basically, we wanted to rewrite it, mm -hmm. and we had a developer mm -hmm. for that. So, so the plan was to basically split the backend and frontend. Mm -hmm. And base the uh, backend and the uh, uh, YouTube DL mm -hmm. to basically simplify everything. Right. So it didn't work <laughs> because uh, this developer was too busy with life. Right. Right. Okay. That's fair. It's, but this uh, developer is a person that made uh, CloudTube. Ah. Okay. Basically, Clotub used what was done. I I think I'm not sure. She should be angry if I say shit. But uh, I think she ended up using what was done for Invidious. Mm -hmm. Clotub. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think yeah. Uh, yeah. I looks like it is yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want to dig uh, in the source code, it's a project named uh, New Leaf. Mm -hmm. Basically, New Leaf is a YouTube ex data extractor compatible with the uh, Invidious API. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Uh, New Leaf uses uh, YTDLP mm -hmm. uh, to assist with data extraction, mm -hmm. but it also does some extraction itself. Mm -hmm. Just read the description. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Uh, so basically, it was what was started, mm -hmm. but I mean, basically, Invidious was such in, in such a bad uh, state that things uh, had to go quickly, mm -hmm. and things did not go quickly enough because she was busy with mm -hmm. life. So we ended up uh, stopping this rewrite when uh, the new dev developer came. Mm -hmm. came. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's so, yeah. And that that's since then it's just never uh really just gone anywhere. 
It, it, I mean, Cloudflare works, mm -hmm. I think, but the uh, user base is a lot smaller. Right, right. And I mean, Invidius is considered a production ready, kinda, and because there's a flaw in, in it. We'll talk about it later, maybe. <laughs> uh piped is also uh, production ready mm -hmm. but the other are basically kind of experimental mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, except freetube which is uh different uh freetube is uh, a desk a desktop client basically it's an application you install on on your uh, pc oh okay no i do know this one as well okay yep 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 it's a bit different yeah they mix it up in the list but yeah, wow, there's a lot, a lot more than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep in mind some of these on here, like there's um, in Vue.js, which is a Vue.js front end for Nvidia. Yeah, there's Nvidia I think viewer. It's really... Some of them are really recent, and a lot of them are just GUIs for YouTube DL. Yeah. So yeah, it's. Not the same objective as in videos itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a way to see YouTube, but I mean, in videos has comments which most tool don't, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because comments is really weird to get and to display in a proper way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, now there's a lot. What is the if if you can explain it? What is the problem with comments? The problem is that it's complicated to to get from YouTube mm -hmm. and to and to display in a good way mm -hmm. because YouTube you have the comments but you have the replies mm -hmm. then you have the likes of each replies and so from uh, YouTube you can get them by chunk uh, basically you get I think it's 20 at once, mm -hmm. 15, 20, something like that. Mm -hmm. You get 15, except to get the next one. So in the YouTube uh, main UI, mm -hmm. it's just, uh, you, you just scroll down. Mm -hmm. Except what what is done is, um, it's a bit complicated to explain without uh, technical terms. But basically, you have um, a string of text mm -hmm. in your web request that say, this is where you are in the common tree, basically. Right. And if you want the 15 next commands, you have to request those commands mm -hmm. with the place as, uh, where you are. Or... And it's basically really a crowd to do. <laughs> then you have to display them properly, get the the other profile pictures, uh, uh, get the name of others. That was a problem recently, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, when YouTube changed, um, basically, no, you have a not yeah. symbol uh, yeah, something, yeah, yeah. and you have a display name on top. So YouTube did the change. Which made it so in videos only displays the ad symbol. Mm -hmm. We fixed it, kinda, because now some others have uh, their display name and some others have their uh, at uh, yep. name. Yep. Yep. It's a mess. 